welcome to tonight's episode of Beyond Focus TV. I'm Lydia Patel, and as always, I have a very special guest for you, Majin Dezulme, founder of Sejali Couture. She'll be with us for the next 30 minutes, so stay with us. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. Beyond Focus TV allows you to discuss contemporary topics affecting the Caribbean people on both the national and local level. The show features informed guests who offer insight, debate, and evaluate various issues. Beyond Focus TV builds on the station's mission to provide useful information to the Caribbean people in New York and abroad. Beyond Focus TV, where our viewing audience can get educated, informed, and empowered. Welcome back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. I'm Lydia Patel. And like I said, I have a very special guest for you, Mijin Dezulme. Welcome back to the program. Well, actually, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's, it's great to have you. Fashion, trends, branding, yes. that's you. Mm -hmm. C'est jolie couture. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had to get a little fashion tonight, too. Um, <laughs> since you're doing a, a fashion segment, essentially, tonight. Um, but before we get into all that, why don't you tell us a little bit about your background and introduce you to the Beyond Focus TV family. Um, my name is Meijin. Um, I'm from Haiti. I came here when I was 16 years old. Um, I went to Reedy Buendice High School and... Kingsbow and BMCC, Bow of Marathon Community College. And currently, um, I just graduate class of 2020. So, yay! Oh, very nice. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Quarantine degrees. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> they have quarantine everything this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yes. No, that's great. So congratulations on that. Um, Thank you. You know, working hard, a lot of great things. Why don't you tell us about your love for fashion and when you kind of discovered that you were kind of interested in that part of the industry? Um, my love for fashion start um, when I was a little girl and I remember my dad sent me a, a shoes, a little heel shoes. So I start walking on it, walking, and I look myself in the mirror. I'm like, oh, this is cute. And I start walking and walking. And that's where my love for fashion start. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, did you? That was around five years old. That was around five. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so little girl, little Majin, <laughs> walking around in heels, mm -hmm. and you're like, "Oh, I could do something with this." Yes. And then from there, that sparked. That How did your interest get more into it? Um, it get more into it is when my dad starting sitting me fashionable clothes, nice clothes, wearing them, play dress up and everything and that's when it start. That is amazing. Yeah. I love that. My um, dad started. <laughs> My dad. So we gotta thank dad for you know launching you yes. on this. Yes. Um so when did you officially start Sejali Couture? Sejali Couture um was created in twenty seventeen. And I'm a model, by the way, mm -hmm. doing my modeling career. So I start um, the fashion line. And since then, it's been doing pretty well. Yeah. Since the COVID-19 came and we took a little break, but we working in the background behind the scene. So now we're ready to start backing up today, starting today. So we're waiting to have fashion shows and photo shoot. So the models are waiting for me. They they are waiting. They can't wait. Like when are you gonna have a photo shoot and stuff like that? And I'm like, yes, I'm coming. I'm coming. It's because of the COVID nineteen. Yes. Give me like a little bit break. I'm coming. So today is the day that I came back to the fashion scene. So let's talk about your modeling career um, before you launched Sigilly Couture. You know, you were modeling. Um, let's talk about some of the designers that you worked with and some of the types of clothes you were wearing how was that oh um i started when i was studying at kingsborough career college and they put a flyer in, on the wall and when i saw it they were looking for model and i didn't want to stop there so i keep going i keep going now i'm this is um the seven years i've been doing this so now it's been pretty good. So my favorite designer um, that I've been working with is Ken Wam Design. Um, during, during when I started, she's the one that 
just bring me bring me in, into her wing to like you can wear everything you want it anytime you want to do photo shoot you can come and yeah so a lot of models though um it's a very hard industry you know it um it depends what you're looking for if you're trying to do runway print editorial you know for some designers you're too small you're too big you're too this so how have you overcome those criticisms and kind of find your niche of what works for you um i don't let it bother me um first you have to be confident if you're confident that's not gonna bother you so you ha you just have to find the plus size designer that want to work with you and it can go from there so it's funny because a lot of times what they consider plus size is actually very normal size mm -hmm. um and that's the industry on a whole has gotten a lot of backlash for that because it just causes that's not a realistic image they want people to be they want women to be like five foot ten five eleven like very tall but extremely thin and that was a very old way of modeling and i think now curves are embraced mm -hmm. um which is good because we naturally are even if we're slim we're curvy people you know we're very voluptuous um right so I, I like that you said, you know, find a plus size model or find your category right, and just right. kind of perfect that. And it's a, like, it's, it's a lot of plus size designer out there. So you will find some. Oh, yeah. And I mean, for sure. You mm -hmm. know, most women in America are actually plus size. So you'd be surprised that there's not as many. There's still there's plenty. But I mean, they there's still less than your typical European designers right for sure you just have to be confident if you're confident you can you can go far with it so you don't have to let any comments bothering you so you just have to keep your heads up and keep going so if you let it bother you you're not gonna go far yeah, yeah. absolutely what about getting uh, under agency or any type of that do you have you worked with agencies do you like agency work um at first I did so, uh, um, I've been an independent model for quite, quite a, a while. Um, at the beginning, I have an agency, though. Um, since I've been an independent model now, I've been doing pretty well. So, I don't have any headache mm -hmm. um, where they tell me what who to work with, why I cannot work with. Yes. So, I just do my thing. And... I like it. I like being an independent model. Yeah, there's a lot more freedom that comes with that for sure. You're less restricted, like you said. You know, you you could work for who you want to work for. Mm -hmm. you're, you're not restricted to certain designers. Um, but in terms of the management aspect, because when you're being an independent model, you're in charge of finding your own bookings, finding a lot of those things, unless you have uh, a management aspect involved or someone to help represent you in that sense are you doing all of that yourself yes i'm doing all of that myself at the start um i learned how it is and right now i've been an independent model and i've been doing pretty well that's great with the booking for show fashion shows photo shoots and stuff like that that is awesome. Well, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. Stay with us. you're watching beyond focus tv so majin let's talk about the top 12 fashion trends it's 2021 you want some new fashion and we got a fashionista here who's going to kind of <laughs> give us some tips and tricks so the top 12 yes because um, i'm lost i'm not in the loop right now <laughs> i think since covid i've just kind of been out of it so <laughs> i understand yeah i understand that um the top 12 winter fashion trend in 2021 um, we're gonna go um, by number. Okay. Um, the first one is French. Anything French, for example, a French skirt, um, jacket, 
friend, little fringe on yeah. the sleeves, fringe at the bottom. The boot fringe. That would okay, be good. fringe. <laughs> and the second one is waffle blouse. A waffle blouse. Yeah, it one here. Okay. So that's pretty fashionable. Right now, waffle blouses. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And, yeah, and the third one is puff sleeve. Ooh. So anything puff sleeve those big with a skirt and you put it under the skirt and the top already big bring and it puffed. Out. Yes. yes. <laughs> and the third one and the fourth one is blazer. Anything blazer. Okay. So yeah. pop a blazer. Yeah. Colorful. It can be blue, red, yellow. So yeah. Black. Any color will be good for the winter right now. And the five is neckline sweater okay yeah anything design you want the top that will be bring your neck out longer so that will bring everything out very interesting <laughs> yeah that's neckline sweater and the six is fox fur that Fulfur, one right? yeah fox fur yeah that one is always on trend <laughs> yeah <laughs> for always the time <laughs> and the seven one is rhinestone headband i like rhinestones all the time mm -hmm. and not just on the headband but okay <laughs> i could get a rhinestone headband yeah they come out now very fashionable okay um and the eight one is cotton short dress you can you can wear it with boot tiny mm -hmm. boot any corset you want it and you go Okay, I didn't think of that. And you go out the door with his sunglasses on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And nine, biker jacket. Biker jacket, you can wear it with anything. You can wear it with black jean, um, boots, ankle boots, hiney boots. That will be perfect. And sunglasses. Don't forget the sunglasses. He loves his sunglasses, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and ten, color blacking. And then color blacking. You can, um, for example, color blacking, you can wear a blue top and, or a, a pink a pink skirt. And the shoes can be orange or green. That can be. Just make it fashionable. Okay. So people <laughs> yeah. are basically mixing colors. Yeah, mixing color. <laughs> yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> and the 11 is high knee boots. That one is always in style. Always in style. Me personally, I love some high knee boots. Yes. I love them. And finally, the 12th thing for winter fashion trend in 2021 is anything metallic. We'll yeah. go fine. It can be boots, skirt, shirt, jacket. So shiny glasses. material, like how this is very shiny or yeah. more real metallic color? Real metallic colors will be good <laughs> wow that's kind of interesting yeah. so these trends are like and the, and trends always change that's why they're called trends you know right. um what from your experience was one of the worst trend that you saw that you're like okay nobody should be wearing this that you the remember first trend let's see i will say worst trend hmm let me take off one you know which one I didn't like? Uh -huh. The fuzzy slippers. The, the fuzzy slippers? Because you were wearing it outside. Girls were wearing them to the store, mm -hmm. going outside, and I'm just like... Oh, the worst trend is the four slipper. Yeah, 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 yeah. The four slipper. Yeah. I, 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 I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of it. Yeah, yeah. you're right, you're right. And anything green... And something else, remember in the summertime, a lot of girls were wearing, like, uh, it looked like the little wrestler outfits. Instead of sundresses, they were wearing, uh -huh. like, that Spanx one-piece, oh. like, shorts. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> and it, like, You don't like them? It just, for me, it just wasn't something. It looked good on a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I just knew. I was like, eh. I think that trend could skip me. Right, right, right. Certain trends could just bypass. One trend that I hate is the lip liner, the black lip liner. You have to um, blend it. <laughs> you, 
You yes. have to blend that. You're supposed to blend it, but they make it so outlined. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and even makeup trends where people over contour. Like, your makeup is fabulous. Thank you, thank and you. And you still gave your nose and cheeks a natural look, but some people contour their nose to mm -hmm. a different note. Like, you, they look like different people. Right, <laughs> right. You're right. And, and that's a very interesting trend. Um, so, of course, now that we're talking about makeup, you know, when you're working your fashion, it all kind of goes together. It's not just the clothes. Exactly, um, exactly. Did you have to learn how to do your own makeup, or you still have people who help you with makeup? Actually, I have to learn uh, how to do it. Um, at one thirteen, I started doing my makeup. My mom wasn't a fan of it, but my dad said, let her wear it. Let her have fun with it. And... Because of my dad saying that, and I keep doing it and continue doing it, and that's how I learned doing my my own makeup. Oh yeah, and I mean, especially I got to thank my dad for that. <laughs> he got you definitely <laughs> yeah. in the scene. Yeah, um, but there's so much when you're an independent because. You don't always have access to makeup artists or hairstylists. You have to learn how to do these things yourself. Yes, as a model, a model should know how to put makeup on. It's very important. For example, um, they can call you for your photo shoot. You have to do it yourself and get ready quick and go there. Sometimes That's you don't even tip. have time. You just bring it with you and put it on. You don't always have uh, makeup artists. You have to do it yourself. So you must know how to put it on. So give us some more tips because that's a great fact that you actually bought up and, and a lot of people don't know that. They think, I'm a model. <laughs> my makeup's going to be done. My hair is going to be done. You're right, right. No. As a model, you should know how to put makeup. Just something. Lipstick or eyeshadow. Learn how to do your eyebrow and just put your powder on, foundation. You have to, you have to, put, you have to know, learn how to do that because it's not always, it's not, always you're gonna have a makeup artist there so you have to do it yourself for sure well hold that thought we'll take a quick break we'll be right back you're watching beyond focus tv stay with us Welcome back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. I'm Lydia Patel. So, Mijin, what would you say has been the most exciting part of your career so far? The most exciting part of my career, fashion career? I will say um, when we go to fashion event, that can be pretty exciting. The music, sometimes we have drink, food, and as you want dress fashionable, it's always pretty exciting to go to. <laughs> oh, yeah. for sure. I mean, mm -hmm. that's almost like the little reward that you get yes. at the end, especially when it's like fashion week. I've worked couture fashion week. Mm -hmm. And, you know, at the end of the night, you know, when they kind of take everybody out, it's like, okay, our moment now. Right, right. To really you get to enjoy. Up, everyone dress up. So everyone look fashionable. They dancing, enjoy, enjoying themselves, taking photos. Yeah, that, 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 I, I love this. So currently, who are some of your top designers that you almost always do their shows or events uh, that you work with? Top designers, let me think. I will say Kenwam Design. Yeah, she's the one that pretty dressed me. Yeah, I'm the face of Kenwam Design. She's the one that pretty dressed me. When I go, when I do all the fashion show, they usually have all the designer there. So I model for them, but pretty much Anytime that I wanted to take a photo shoot or want to dress up or have some fun with fashion, I can call Kenwam and she right there. <laughs> she right there. Kenwam Design. So you call her up. You've got a pretty big event coming up and she'll outfit you in something as yeah, well. Yeah, she, she can pretty much do that. But I usually shop for my own outfit when I'm going to event. I like to... Um, style it myself mm. so i have fun with that the only the only time can i'm dress me is when 
um, we have any photo shoot. Okay. Yeah. The official ones. Mm-hmm. So how would you describe your style? If you're like right now, I just love the look and everything, <laughs> but how would you kind of describe your style? Oh, my style is a little bit everything. It can be funky, fashionable, a h- h- high fashion. Um, it's basically a little bit everything. I like to have fun with everything. Just mix all the patterns together. How just have fun with it. Yeah. That's great. I do see that. Like you're, you, you kind of let your personality come through. <laughs> right. You get to shine. Right. You never, you never know what you're gonna get when I went out of me when I, when I'm taking um, pictures, when I style my stuff. So, um, people really have um, waiting to see what's next. What's going to be um, my next look, basically. And you, you would say you have a pretty good eye for styling. Yes, I'm a stylist as well. Oh, you <laughs> see, I, I just kind of had a feeling. So your friends get Medjean to come and outfit them and yeah. do that for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that is great. Why don't you tell us about your social media? How can everybody at home find you online? Um, they can, my personal um, um, Instagram, it's the model 28 T-H-E-M-O-D-E-L-28. And my business IG page is Sergioli Couture is C E S T J O L I E Couture C O U T U R E Sergioli Couture all one word right yes <laughs> absolutely so Sergioli Couture um that's Instagram the Facebook um and if they could send you an email as well um my email is Medjin Dizume first name and last name at gmail.com and my personal um facebook page is first name and last name you can find me easily perfect Mm -hmm. so a lot of great ways to connect (laughs) with you and do that what would you say is one of the biggest things you want to accomplish for the rest of 2021 um i will say is get back out there again because after the COVID 19 it's it took a toll. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. And the models are waiting. They are DMing me, email me. They're when hungry. <laughs> yes. When are you going to have a photo shoot? When is the next photo shoot? When is the next fashion show? Um, for me, I took a break for because I would have want to stay safe and healthy. Yes. Um, I took a break, like, months. So today is the day that I'm out and the scene so they, they will have a fashion show or they will have a photo shoot pretty soon and are you open to doing any virtual type of fashion events um yes virtual but the photo shoot we have to keep everything Every- small yeah but there will be stuff yeah there will be stuff <laughs> there will out. be coming out so they're waiting mm-hmm. um so for you do you you also have your own personal line as well right yes is it's plus size or do you also do all sizes all sizes plus oh. size all size all size oh that's nobody left out <laughs> no one left out <laughs> that's great um <laughs> thank you i love that you actually include everybody um it's it's interesting because then you don't lose any fans or any of that market which any is ages background ethnicity they can welcome to sexually couture that is any so sizes yeah nice <laughs> um are you working on a spring collection or what by the time i know it's a little bit again with everything happening so would it be a combination of pieces since you know traditionally to be a spring and a summer collection and then a fall but i don't even know what what by the time things actually come out mm-hmm. you might have to have the whole line done right now i'm not working on spring collection I am going to work on my next collection. That's another brand that I have is called Wild Blue Denim Wear. It's basically um, jean and athlete wear. So that's what I'm going to work on right now. The first fashion show, I would like to um, have that. Yeah. We could be wearing jeans. Yeah, jeans, jeans, athletic, athletic wear, and yeah. That's, the creativity, that's I, the, the yeah, creative that's what juices I are flowing. Mm-hmm, that's what I'm going to work on. So I would like to have that, showcasing that for the next fashion show. But for the photo shoot, 
um, I will have headpieces, which is um, was headpiece, headpieces, like the flowers headpieces that I Ooh. that I show here previously. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, that's that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So we get a little bit of of all those different things coming up. Yes. Um, and all those will also be posted on your social media, like uh, teasers that we could, you know, stay excited and, and know what, what you're working on. Absolutely. Um, all the fans that I have, the fans that I have, they are ready. They are waiting to see what I have next. I mean, we all, we all miss the fashion, mm -hmm. fashion stuff, the fashion industry. Um, we're not having any fashion show right now or photo shoot. We trying to get back out there, and today I decided it's the time to get back. No, it's on exciting the scene. Um, for sure. You know, and it's not the same virtual. Mm -hmm. I've I've attended virtual conferences and done a lot of virtual events, but it's still not the same. We just trying to do the new normal. The new normal. <laughs> the new normal. <laughs> yeah. Well, Majin, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll have you back again. It's always a pleasure to have you. Thank you for having me. Of course. Mm -hmm. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, you can send us an email at info at beyondfocusedmedia.com. Um, I'm Lydia Patel. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll be back again next week. Same time, same place. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. Stay with us. Beyond Focus TV show wants and needs your feedback. Did we blunder? Please let us know so we can improve. Was the show helpful to you? Drop us a note so we can share the success with our staff members. Is there something you think we could do better? We welcome new ideas and new approaches to old ideas. Do you have a great suggestion? Let us know and we'll work on it. If you would like to share your comments anonymously, please send us an email at info at beyondfocusmedia.com. If you want to get in touch with the executive producer directly, send him an email at gene at beyondfocusmedia.com. We really look forward to hearing from you.